All right, here we go. How to draw a greater one horn rhino. Well, I think we got to start with the horn, don't you? Like that. Good. And then you sort of just come down, come to a point up two lines like that and then you've got a nostril here Then in and up abruptly. And then the eye is sort of way down here. Pupil. All right, then where we left off the mouth, we're just going to come down and very, very jolly. You know, lots of bags and lines and whatnot. And the ears. One, two. I'm going to disconnect that. Now we're going to come back to the head here. We're going to add just a couple of wrinkles and lines. And Lots of wrinkles. All right. Then you're going to just come right back to the ears. Come down just slightly. Then back and around like this. And their bodies are amazing. They, they look almost like they're, they've got armor plates. Again, lots of wrinkles. Good. Now our legs. There's one. There's two. All right. Now that our leg sort of is walking along. So that leg is lifted up like he's walking. And they've got another one right here. Nice wrinkly rhino. Doing great. Let's add some toenails. It's just letter M. Letter M. Maybe add one more. 
letter M. And lots more little wrinkles. And then some texture. Texture, just, you know, little bumps on the skin. Some more wrinkles here and there. And then your tail. And then he's walking along, so I'm going to add just a little bit of grass here. Or... Now, if I'm coloring, rhinos are really easy to color because they're just one color. They're kind of a gray. Um, is all they really are is just gray. So I'm going to go, I don't want to go too dark a gray. But that's pretty much all they are, it's just a, a gray color. So maybe around the eyes, I'll leave a little bit of space. Maybe the horn, but really it's just a lot of gray, see? That's really all it is to it, just a lot of gray color. Maybe I'll add just a little splash of pink on the ears and the eyebrows there. And then we'll go with a light gray on the toenails. There we go. Oh, forgot the color in the tail. And again, you don't have to add color. That's I just like to add a little bit of splash of color so we see what it would look like. And there we go. Sign your name, take pride in your work, that's how to draw a rhino. Very nice job, everybody.